Welcome back to Reviews and Rankings with Robbie Sobel. Today I'll be reviewing the 2019 film Rabid, directed by the Sasuke sisters. But first, let's take a trip back in time and take a look at the original Rabid, directed by David Cronenberg in 1977. During the 1970s, the horror genre experienced a resurgence in popularity as various subgenres were created by filmmakers who took chances in ways many before them hadn't done. In 1968, George A. Romero created The Modern Zombie following the release of his film Night of the Living Dead and expanded the genre with Dawn of the Dead in 1978, all while tapping into the social commentary of the day in regards to racial tensions and consumerism. Wes Craven got his start in the 1970s with The Last House on the Left and The Hills Have Eyes, which reflected the uncertainty of the times, with Craven openly noting his influence in the form of news broadcasts of the day reporting on the Vietnam War. John Carpenter broke ground with Halloween, and Toby Hooper created the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. As the horror genre was evolving, a Canadian director named David Cronenberg jumped onto the scenes with Shivers in 1975. Shivers tells the body horror story of a sexual parasite that infects its female host, sparking hysteria at an apartment high-rise. Two years later, Cronenberg released Rabid, which tells a similar story, but this time follows the character of Rose, who after a motorcycle accident, undergoes emergency reconstructive surgery. However, Rose begins to develop an Orpheus under one of her armpits, which creates an appetite for human blood. Rose, unable to control her desire, takes aim across the city of Montreal to satisfy her fix, creating mass panic in the process. You can't trust your mother. Your best friend. Rabbit received positive reviews from critics and has gone on to become a cult favorite among fans of the subgenre. Fast forward over 40 years later and a remake of the classic film has been released this time in the hands of the Sasuke sisters. In February 2016, the Sasuke sisters were brought on board to helm a remake to the David Cronenberg genre classic, Rabid. Over the next two years, news on the potential project was kept under wraps and it wasn't until the start of 2018 that the film entered pre-production, which included the casting of Laura Vandervoort in the lead role who is best known for playing Supergirl in the TV show Smallville. The Sasuke sisters version of Rabbit sticks to the core story of the original, but follows a modern take and includes a drastically different ending. The story once again follows Rose as she is left horribly disfigured following a motorcycle accident. One notable difference this time is Rose's backstory, which is fleshed out in more detail in the 2019 film. I want you into work on time. <laughs> Rose is a fashion designer who was trying to make it in the increasingly competitive field. After an accident, Rose, with the help of her best friend, takes part in an experimental stem cell research surgery. I want you to keep in mind that this is going to be a process. Not to worry. With the proper diet, you'll be able to live a perfectly normal life. While initially the surgery appears to be a success, Rose's thirst for blood increases, as does anyone she comes in physical contact with. A highlight of the original film were some of the gore effects, which the Sasuke sisters don't shy away from in their version of Rabbit. The practical effects and prosthetics are well done, especially for a film with such a low budget. In particular, the damage done to Rose's face following the accident. For a low-budget film, the acting was also impressive. From the starring effort of Laura Vandervoort 
to the supporting roles of Ted Atherton and Ben Hollingsworth, to the small role played by former WWE superstar CM Punk. Avoid all animals and humans exhibiting violent or erratic behavior. Clocking in at just under two hours, Rabbit rarely drags and moves at a brisk pace as it leads to a conclusion that differs from the original and separates itself enough to stand on its own. Heading into 2019, I was cautiously optimistic that the reimagined version of Rabbit would be solid and the Sasuke sisters didn't disappoint. While not quite a great film, The Rabbit of 2019 is well worth checking out, especially for fans of the original as it clocks in at 3.5 stars out of 5. I hope you enjoyed my review for Rabbit, but what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below, and if you could, hit the like button and subscribe. If you're on Instagram, you can follow me at Robbie underscore upgrade. So let's keep watching movies, and thanks for checking out the channel.